Hi, beautiful. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm exhausted to the point where if I could take a nap on this table right now and just let the videos play and have you still watch it, I would do that. But um, I'm gonna pull it together and um, just try and be entertaining. Usually when I'm tired though, I'm a little bit more of a bitter People tend to like that, uh, so I guess you're welcome that I'm tired. I don't know. So today we're watching some girls give themselves e-girl transformations. And if you're maybe, I don't know, too old to know what an e-girl is or just not trendy enough, well, get with it. Basically what happened was there was goths, emo, there was scene, and now there is e-girls. Back in my day, we called them scene girls, but now they're called e-girls, very similar, but just upgraded into like 2020. We'll go with that. I wonder how many people I just offended. I don't give a f and if you're still confused what an e-girl is, well, you'll find out today as we watch these girls give themselves very colorful hair transformations. It'll be fun, it'll be cool. I love a good e-girl. Let's get it started. Our first girl up giving herself an e-girl transformation is Idis and Mai. This is e-girl transformation black and neon green during Quarantine. Are you like a rhymologist or something? Like, wait, what? So I'm gonna be trying to figure out how to. What are we doing? Damn my entire hair, just one solid color, and then I'll be doing the highlights in the front. Also, I have AirPods in, so they might get stained, and I don't know if they're dye resistant because they're like made of plastic. Dye resistant? No! You're not dye resistant, they're plastic. They will die. So she's got some level five hair on top. It looks like her natural hair has grown out. And then she's got this, you know, ombre thing going on. A little level seven moment going on in the ends. And she's gonna make the entire thing black with these two strips in the front. And if you're not familiar with e-girl style, the strips in the front is basically what an e-girl vibe is. Like everybody has the strips in the front, the money pieces, but they're like colorful. You'll see. Cover your shoulders with a towel, oh my God. I'm not doing that. So we're using box dye. Nice into here. Yeah. That looks disgusting. Oh, shine oil. So we have this fancy little shine oil thing. She's mixing it up. I'm open this. We're getting prepared. Stop it. Let's fast forward. <laughs> okay, so she has her bangs, or the front pieces kind of sectioned out in a scrunchie, that way she doesn't color it, which is a good idea. Okay, so, I think I have, oh my god, why am I touching my whole it, Okay, I think I have most of it covered. As you can see, I don't think you can see like the, like brown light. Well, that's definitely one way of covering your hair with color. It looks like it's dry. We can go with it. We can pretend that you definitely just covered your entire head with that color, even though you missed every f spot. Ugh. Ugh. Put more color on your head. It irks me. It really stick my head out because it irks me because I'm gonna pass out. it's just not that hard to put enough color on your head. But for some reason, everybody has to make it harder than it is. And I don't know if it's a cry for attention or it's a little bit of like stupidity, <laughs> but um, you know. Okay, so I just finished with my hair dye. So I've dyed all of it brown now. Okay, um, show us me. So I went off the bleach out of the box dye. And uh, now I'm gonna bleach it. I am glad that she left the front piece out and didn't color it dark and then try to go over it with bleach. Seems kind of obvious, but I've definitely seen people do the opposite where they like color it and then color it again for no reason. Good for her. Her hair is probably gonna lift nicely because it does look to be like her virgin hair on the top. So that's good. Which is gonna be fun because apparently like 40 volume will destroy my hair and I accidentally the volume bleach. So if my hair falls out, um. I hope I get more views. I'm gonna be- Oh yeah, no, you'll get way more views if your hair falls out. <laughs> okay. Her hair looks very healthy though, I must say. So she's using 40 volume, which is totally fine in, in this application because her hair looks very healthy and she's only doing a small piece and it's all gonna process at the same time. I'm not too concerned about like one area turning really white, the other not turning very light or turning orange and red and whatever, because she's gonna put the entire section on really quick and let it process at the same amount of time. Should be fine, but who knows? So I'm using the Manic Panic 40 volume. I don't know who told me to buy 40 volume, but I 
literally just like typed in bleach on Amazon and this was the first thing I saw, so I bought it. I'm gonna mix a tiny bit together. I'm not like so mad at her using the Manic Panic box die kit because at least Manic Panic tells you like what developer is involved in it. Whereas like other kits will literally not tell you anything. They'll just be like, this is what you need. And this is the one size fits all. At least Manic Panic is like, this is for your volume. I'm cool with that. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to inhale bleach. So like, I hope that didn't go in my mouth. Well, you're not supposed to, but and it is... You know, when we're doing foils, we tend to have the lightener more runny, a little bit less thick than you would normally use the lightener. In this case, you can definitely make it more of a runny consistency because it'll help distribute throughout your hair strands if it's more runny. Um, if you're not using foil though, I would make it more thick because it tends to dry out really fast when it's exposed to the environment, to air. Um, so if you're incubating it in a foil or anything, you can make the lightener more of a runny formula. And if it's not in a foil, you can make it more thick. What did they make it such a nice color and tell you it's a creamy consistency as if like people weren't it. Oh, I am totally have tried bleach before. It's kind of nice. It's weird. I don't know how to record videos on my own. It's so strange. So I heard somewhere you're not supposed to use foil with 40 volume, but I don't want this anywhere in my face. So I'm going to use it anyway. I hope I don't end up on a Brad Mondo video. Actually, I hope I do, so then at least like I get like clout, you know? <laughs> Every time somebody says that, I think it's so funny. I don't know that they're gonna say that. And then they say it, and I'm just like, how funny that they did end up in a Brad Mondo video. And I didn't even mean to, I didn't know that that they were gonna say that. We're digging the technique, honestly, this is fine. I would definitely section out your hair before doing this, you know? <laughs> that large section she's doing could have easily been made into three separate sections and done one layer at a time. That way the lightener just gets through all the hair strands and it's a lot easier for you that way. Or you could just take the lightener and scoop it up with your hands and just go like this and mush it around. I mean, you don't need to use a brush as long as you're wearing gloves. The roots do go really fast so you're supposed to leave them right until the end so that's what i'm trying to do but i yes. don't know how long this bleach has been on my hair so i'm just assuming i'm gonna leave it on for like five more minutes and then i'll do my root yes she knows what she's talking about the roots process faster and look at how even it is you see that when you do it right holy sh it actually works <laughs> brad what um i accidentally bleached part of like this chunk this little black bit it looks Pretty good and even. Just the roots go a bit green. I know that it's going to be a different color, but I don't want like just one blonde root over that. And considering that she's doing neon green on top of this, it's totally fine if her hair is a little bit yellow because neon green has a lot of yellow in it. It's just going to make the color show up more vibrant and last longer. If you're not starting on a white base, you're starting on more of a yellow base. And we're going in with the green. Hey, hey, I'm excited for this outcome. Maybe this can cure my uh, depression today. Woo! The foil's not gonna do anything, so. <laughs> I don't think I would worry about uh, green getting on your black hair. Guys, this is the result. The next day, um, I just blow dried my hair and I straightened it. It looks so good. She looks so <laughs> Great. I am obsessed with this color. Please keep it. And for those of you who uh, didn't know what e-girls were in the beginning of this video, this is an e-girl hair color. Those stripes in the front, it really does something for me. I love, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I think you've helped cure my depression today. Amazing miracle of a video. Okay, let's move on. Let's hope the next girl uh, has just as good of a transformation, if not better. Our next video is by a even, uh, Dying my hair like an e-girl, high as fuck. <laughs> Don't demonetize me, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> Great. Recently, I have been getting the urge to dye my two strands in the front of my hair pink. I think that is a solid concept. And now I'm doing it because I'm impulsive and why not take risks? If it doesn't come out good, whatever. All right, we got quick blue bleach, it's fine. And we got eye on pink. Great selections, actually. Beauty. I got all the stuff. Let me show you guys what I got. Well, I got magenta. Um, Ooh, those are really pretty. I've used those before. In ion, it's pink. 
quick blue that will definitely work l'oreal technique powder bleach i mix this in with developer which i have right here 40 volume which it's fine for this scenario okay i'll take the 40 volume today my hair is in i think it's pretty healthy it's not damaged i haven't done really anything damaging to my hair i don't think it's going to be a problem i don't think so but either but you do have very dark level four hair wow it looks like i'm gonna cut bangs bitch hold up <laughs> What I'm gonna bleach on both sides. That's a good amount of hair to take down, I think. If you do too little, it just doesn't show up. And if you do too much, the front half of your head is like a different color and it just doesn't get the vibe across. I think like an inch large section in the front of your hairline is like the best idea for this look. I'm gonna put the rest of this hair back in a ponytail. That's definitely a lot of hair though. Does this side have more? Yes. Yes, it does. Even. No, they're... Get them even, girl. Okay, so we're using the hand method where we don't use a brush, which is totally fine. Watch Brad Mondo. He's like a hairstylist on YouTube. He said not to like lather it on. Like bleach, you need to put a lot. So I'm not going to be generous with it. And I'm gonna try to apply it like everywhere. That's so funny that both of these girls <laughs> mentioned me. What the f She said, I'm not gonna lather it. Great, I love that. Uh, and she's gonna not be generous with it, which I think she meant I am going to be generous with it. I'm glad somebody learned something from my videos. So I applied it over my head. I kind of got it over here, but I don't think that should be a problem. She definitely used enough. So happy about that. She should have definitely used a foil to incubate and add heat to get her your very, very dark hair. I'm pretty sure it's box dyed or just colored black and you're gonna need a lot of heat to lift that color. Good luck, you're probably gonna have orange hair, but you know, it's fine, I guess. Oh good, we're applying more. Okay, this is good, this is good. Except you didn't listen to me when I say my videos don't apply to the roots at the same time as the mids and ends, okay? You gotta wait and then apply to the roots. So this is how this looks. I'm gonna bleach it again and then- Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely went red. But that is red from the my previous dye. That, you guys, is what happens when you try and lift dark color out of hair. It turns f red, red. Ugh. Hopefully the next bleach takes this out. I'm glad she's doing round two. She definitely needs round two, maybe round three. And I blow dried it. This is how it came out. That looks great. I'm no longer high, so I'm gonna smoke more. And then I'm gonna put the pink in my hair. Oh, we're going in with color man that is fuchsia and i am obsessed that's gonna be perfect to put over that slightly orange color it's gonna look so good and very even i feel like somehow her roots didn't come out too much lighter than her ends i'm excited yeah oh and she's applying so much of it that's so good when you're doing a color like this you really want to make sure you're applying a ton of it really just with any color you want to apply a lot of it because hair really tends to suck in color and you need a lot of it there in order to not get any spotting or like lighter areas and darker areas everything needs to be very even and highly saturated and she's doing a very thorough job I approve of this. Okay, so I cleaned it up. Yes, a clean, thorough color job. I think the instructions said 40 minutes, so I'm gonna leave it in for 40 minutes. And we love an instruction follower. So it's the morning. Whoa! Here it came out. It's pretty cute. That looks so good. I have no complaints. I think it's really cute. I put on lashes. I did my- Oh! Now we have the full vibe going on. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. In like a brown color. She looks so good and young and fun and cool. I couldn't ask for anything better. That came out really good and I don't exactly know how, but I'm happy it did come out good. All right, our next video is by my fammy. <laughs> and this is called impulsively bleaching my hair to be a TikTok e-girl at 2 a.m. Bram Mondo is quaking. <laughs> e-girls everywhere are just watching hair just reacts apparently. I highly appreciate it. I do love e-girls. So I, I want to be an e-girl, but that probably will never happen <laughs> for me. So hey guys, um, it's my family here and- My family. Okay, I got it, got it. I had to turn into a TikTok e-girl. Now I get- Shit right now and I'm not trying to say that to you know be relating and like self-deprecating and like subscribe because I'm so relatable like no like I think we can all agree so here we are today 
picking up our hair even though I could go to a salon, but I just choose not to for the content. This girl is hectic. <laughs> Freaking, I have like permanent black dye in my hair right now that, that I got from a salon and you're not supposed to really bleach your hair after that. Out of all these girls, she has the darkest hair of all of them. She has level three black hair, jet black. Why is it called jet black? What jets are black? Anybody can let me know, that would be awesome because now I'm confused and I feel lied to. Brad, please react to my video. I would really appreciate it. This would make it all worth it. I had no idea every single girl <laughs> that I watched today was gonna mention me in some way. I don't know why I find that so funny. I guess it makes sense. Ah! People know who I am? I'm not as irrelevant as I think I am. <laughs> 40 level developer. You're never supposed to really use 40, but whenever you use Olaplex number one, it brings it down like 10, I think. So this is actually volume 30. Okay, so she's using Olaplex and 40 volume, and you guys know where I stand with Olaplex. I have no problem with it. I don't know if it does everything it says it does. And 40 volume, fine. It's totally cool. The pieces that she's pulled out in the front of her hairline look a little uh, jagged uh, and full f***ed up. Um, it's okay though. Does this look right, Brad Mondo? Tell me, please. The nine mistakes. Yeah, actually, it kind of does. Volume 40 can provide high lift, but it can also be really damaging. I do not recommend using it. Is she gonna apply it to the roots first? We, we shall see. If you guys cannot tell. Does she watch my videos? Well, ah, okay. No, she's, yes, she's applying it to the mids and ends first. This is definitely not how my stylist does it, but it's fine. It's totally No, definitely not. It's fine. I'm gonna wreck my hands by bleaching my hands too. Yes. You know what? Wear gloves, people. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. I just love that everybody uses like the brush with, with the foil. It's very cute. Like everybody's like trying really hard to like be a hairstylist at home. Just use your hands and then put the foil on after. You don't need to like paint your hair with the foil. The foil is just there to add heat. You don't need to like use it as a board to paint the highlights on with, but it's very cute. I like it, I appreciate it. Squeeze it. I f***ed up. I can already tell that this is not a good idea. It says use gloves. Crunch this baby up. And now we wait 20 minutes. Also guys, be careful with crunching the foils like that. It's okay, but definitely not what we would do. Cause when you crunch the foils, it kind of takes the lightener off some areas and makes it not very even of coverage because you're crunching all that lightener into different areas of your hair. The bleach will come off some areas and go to others and it's it's just not a good idea. You don't need to like crunch it, just like fold it nicely, you know, like a little burrito. A few moments later. It's been 10 minutes, what the f I felt like it's been two. Time goes by. Okay, you're gonna need to let it sit for longer than 10 minutes. Very well, oh my gosh. I'm just saying shit that my hairstylist says. Okay, so up here should be like my virgin hair and it's not lifting so well. That's exactly what a hairstylist is saying. We open the foils and we're like, oh wow, your hair is lifting so well. That'll be 20 more minutes. I'll see you then. We'll do my roots in a second. Yeah, definitely need to do like up here more. I'm glad she's resaturating. That's a great idea. And she said that she already had bleached ends in the past. So that's why those ends are coming up so light really fast and her roots are being very stubborn. Okay, so my camera died, but we're back. Uh, I feel like she totally watches my videos and I'm so proud of her because she didn't apply the roots until the rest was sort of already processing, which is so great, which is so great. You guys, what the f Today's videos are so fun. It's been an extra 10 minutes and I don't wanna completely like f up my hair. So it's like brown right now. But yeah, you gotta leave it on longer than that. I'm still gonna wash it out and then we'll re-bleach. My hair feels like a straw. We will re-bleach, so. Okay, um, first thoughts. Oh, it's so dark still. Um, Ew, and very oh, uneven. No. Oh no, oh no. No, no, no. No. This is still straight up black. So we're definitely gonna have to go through this process again. I'm gonna apply some Olaplex yeah. one to my hair. Dilute it with water though. So she's applying more, good idea. You definitely needed more. Um, I need to wipe this shit. I would've dried your hair like first. Like Don't brain. color wet hair. No. It's oh, not a good it's idea. It's not really gonna do anything. What you're doing is diluting the lightener because your hair's wet. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna check on it. Okay, it looks like nothing has changed. I have no bleach left, like none. I'm just straight up burning. Oh, Twice in one session, but like it had to be done. Oh my God, and this piece isn't even supposed to be in it. What am I, what am I, what am I doing? What am I doing? We're gonna leave this on for like another 10 minutes. Okay, longer than 10 minutes, please. Like 45 to an hour, please. Please. It's now, 
I'm like giving up on this. It was going good until my dumbass got the wrong pieces in it. Leave this on for another like 10 minutes. Okay, and stop bleaching your forehead. <laughs> Oh God. It's gonna fall out, but it's definitely patchy. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, it's like yellow up here, but then there's like the black strands and then there's like orange down here and then like brown pieces that I need to pick out and like dye back to black. And it's just not going too well, if you guys can't tell. It was going so well in this video this until that, there's until like now. black pieces in it that like aren't supposed to be in it. You're supposed to mix toner with developer, but I have 40 developer and it says use 20 developer, which I don't have. She's using 40 volume to toner hair what the f ow why does that burn so because you're using 40 volume you can actually make 40 volume into 30 20 and 10 also by diluting it with water you're not really like supposed to but you can just add water into 40 volume without buying another developer it's not gonna be as perfect as if you're buying each developer but it works I've done it many times. So if you guys can see, uh, pink, pink, nice, and then up here, like black and yellow, black and yellow. I'm gonna dye pink, okay? There's no way I'm- Just go for it. I think it's light enough at this point, but dry it. You have to dry it in between colorings. I don't have that, so we're just gonna go for it. Stop coloring your wet hair. That does not look like a dark enough. She's gonna end up with like rose gold probably, which is like fine. It's like a vibe. So now I'm gonna put this on the ends of my hair because I'm like, I'm out of breath. Every time I walk up the- stairs i die okay she like knows a lot about hair you can tell because she didn't put the pink on her ends until the top has processed and that's because her ends are super porous and like very light and she didn't want the pink to take super fast in the ends and not on the top great idea okay so i just showered it still looks yellow because like i missed some parts but okay, so I'm not even, like, it actually yellow, looks decent like, not pink enough i don't think and i feel like i should dye more pink also the hair is like ratchet and uneven so i'm gonna re-dye it I'm gonna make sure everything is done <laughs> no you have to lighten it again it's not light enough to take that pink color it's always gonna be slightly orange unless you go and do a darker pink you know or purple that's actually totally fine one hour later okay so i just dried it after like washing it out and like it just doesn't <laughs> It's not separated properly. Like, that's all I can say. It looks super fried right now because- Okay, it actually looks really good. What? How is she not happy with this? This is like the best case scenario for what she just did to her hair. This actually looks really good. I'm shocked. I really did myself a favor and made myself way uglier. <laughs> Guess he's going back to black. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. That looked really good. I don't know what you're angry about because you look fabulous. You actually somehow made it work. Please don't go back to black. This looks great. I'm glad you could pull that off somehow. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of cured my depression today. Like, I kind of want to be an e-girl more than ever. My girls kind of killed it. And you guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to check out my brand new products. Hydromania Conditioning Mist and... Force Field Heat Shield, our heat protectant spray, protect your hair from more damage than you've already done to it, okay? This protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You will not get any heat damage with this product. Also, we have Hydromania Conditioning Mist. This will detangle the f out of your hair, make it so healthy, so manageable, so shiny all around, just a really useful product. These together, ooh. Match made in heaven. We also just restocked one of your favorites, Club Kid Dry Shampoo. If you guys haven't tried it, get your hands on it now. And you guys can shop all these products at xmotohair.com. It'll be linked below for you. And if you wanna learn more, you can also check the website. There's a lot more information on there. And make sure you guys follow us on Instagram at xmondohair for updates on new products because we're always releasing products, man. It's just like, <gasps> how many amazing, fabulous products can we make? And follow me on Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Brad Mondo NYC. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna take a nap. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Viper Smoothing Oil. This oil is a combination of all of my favorites. It has bobap oil, argan oil, carrot seed oil. Now, what sets this oil apart is it really penetrates the hair cuticle. It goes deep inside. Instead of just laying on top of the hair and adding a greasy film, it's gonna actually go inside. Help supply nutrition, hydrate, and add a lot of shine.